With milder winters in Sweden, members of the country's indigenous Sami community who herd reindeer are spending more money searching for food as they need to stop their animals from starving. The changing weather patterns are forcing them to do so. More in this report. In the forests near Sweden's Baltic coast, these reindeer search for the lichen and moss they eat in winter. Their indigenous Sami herders once planned the animals' journeys to find food with deep knowledge of the grazing land and weather in the cold season. But climate change is threatening this way of life. Alternating periods of freezing and thaw in winter cause ice to build up beneath the snow and stop the reindeer from digging down to the lichen. Now, Margaret Fjellström has to find new pasture to prevent the herd from starving, taking up time and costing money in transport and emergency feed. The biggest problem today is the climate change, because the things that I learned from my father and he learned from his mother and father isn't the same now. Just in 10 years it has been so different. These herders have taken to the skies to overcome the changing weather. They use a drone to follow their reindeer and move them on. Despite the snow here, this has been an unusually mild winter. In some areas in northern Sweden, temperatures reached 10 degrees Celsius higher than normal in January, and others recorded low snowfall for the time of year. When there's too little snow for the snowmobiles and skis, they can keep an eye on the herd from the air. We have started using it because it's a good thing, but it's a good thing in the right time because of climate change. A normal winter, winter with one meter of loose snow, we don't have to do anything. With transport from a local resident, this herder is scouting out new areas to see if there's enough food. He is having to travel further to make sure the animals will have enough grazing before they arrive. In his 10 years working with reindeer, he feels the weather has shifted and made this necessary. When it uh, was warmer and more ice, it was uh, uh, unusual winter. But now, that winter has been so long, so, uh, so, uh, so uh, now the unusual winter is a normal winter. In Jokmok, above the Arctic Circle in Sweden, the Sami gather every year for a winter market. This year, young activists held a climate strike with Greta Thunberg, giving speeches about the impact of climate change on their community. Sami have herded reindeer across northern Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia for more than 1,000 years and are estimated to number between 80 and 100,000. It is thought some 2,000 Sami in Sweden are directly dependent on herding the country's quarter of a million reindeer for their livelihood. But any impact will be felt more widely in the community. Yes, it's culturally important for the whole community and all the municipalities as well because uh, reindeer meat is an important product. We can find it in the shops, in the restaurants. So, you know, a lot of people are related indirectly to reindeer herding. The animals have provided meat and pelts and a living to generations of Sami herders and a key to their culture. Now these herders worry whether this way of life will be open to their children or if rising hardship and costs will make this impossible.